Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be using Ewan's hair. It's 100% virgin hair. It came in 12 inches and in the texture loose wave. The construction of this wig was beautiful, especially because it had the band in the back. The hair is really thick. Normally factory made wigs are thin, but this wig was very thick and the curls on this wig was beautiful. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I bleach the knots and how I pluck my wig. I went ahead off camera and dyed this hair jet black by a door because the brown in the hair had to go. I used 30 volume developer in the BW2 bleach. I got it at my beauty supply store. You can too. You're going to want to put one scoop of that bleach in your mixing bowl and then get that same scoop and fill it up halfway with the developer. Pour it into your mixing bowl and mix it you're gonna want the mixture to look like a toothpaste you don't want it too runny but you don't want it too dry to where it's not gonna catch on to the lace and bleach the knots you're gonna see me add just a little bit more because I want it to be kind of runny but not that runny I want you guys to know whatever volume developer you use is going to determine the time you leave it on the lace to process. So if you use a 10 volume developer, you're going to need to leave it on there longer than you would if you used a 30 or 40 volume developer. With the 30 volume developer, I left it on for about 10 minutes because it was uh, processing very fast. I didn't show it in the video, but don't forget to cover the bleach up with some foil or a plastic bag. Here's what it looked like after I got done bleaching it. I'm just going to take my hot comb and run it through the hair and slick it back. I take a little bit of the front section out so I can get ready to pluck it. I'm going to hot comb these little hairs down. They're going to be baby hairs. I normally don't do baby hairs because I don't know how to do baby hairs. But I make it work, to be honest. I mean, I don't know how to do baby hairs. It just looks like a bunch of hair on my forehead half the time. So yeah, once I learn how to do that, then I'll teach you guys. I grabbed my tweezers and I started plucking. I want you guys to watch what I'm doing before I explain it fully to you. I go in between each hair strand and I pluck it. I don't pluck at the front of the hairline because I don't like my wigs to look like they're bald. And over time, your wigs are going to shed from the lace front, and it's just going to look like you bald-headed. The wig is going to give alopecia. When I'm plucking in a section, I take it back as I pluck too. So I'll go like, pluck, pluck, backwards. Pluck, pluck, backwards. Pluck, pluck, going backwards. I hope this makes sense, child. You want to skip over each section too. Plucking is all about how you like it. It's about eyeballing and what you think is going to look good. Make sure you guys comb it out while you're plucking. I didn't show it in the video, but just comb it out so your hair doesn't get tangled. After I get done plucking away from the front of the hairline, I'm going to go back and pluck lightly from the front of the hairline. It's gonna look realistic and more open. If that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. You guys are gonna see. Just keep hot combing the hairline back because you want it as flat as possible so you can see. You see how dense the hairline is you don't want to take it from the very front you want to bring it back a little bit and start plucking from there you see me take it and pull it back and then you're gonna want to kind of skip a little mini section and then pluck from there you're gonna do that 
over and over. I'm just taking my wax stick, putting it all around the front of the hairline and hot combing it down. I'm going to insert some clips of the wig on my head. It looks very realistic. It looks like I just straightened my hair. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I didn't feel like doing my makeup or nothing like that, so that's why you guys got those clips. But I hope you guys learned something in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the information will be in the description below. So don't forget to check that description. Until then, thanks for vibing with the wig lady. I'll see y'all next time.